If you drive down Bryant Street in the Elmwood Village, you can't miss the outdated, massive building that was once Women's and Children's Hospital. This is what it looks like now, and this is what it's expected to look like just a couple of years from now. Today, developers unveiled their new plan for Elmwood Crossing. And tonight, we got a much better idea of what it will become and when. Two on your sides, Leanne Stuck is live in the Elmwood Village tonight. Leanne? Scott, in an estimated three years, this vacant campus behind me will become a mixed use area that will have townhomes, condos and even a grocery store. Tonight we got to see what it will look like and some neighbors say they're not too thrilled with its appearance. When you drive past the old women and children's hospital, you see a viable seven acre piece of land in the heart of Elmwood Village sitting vacant. Well, I'm just happy that they're going to get started on doing some work soon because it's sitting empty. Soon that area will be known as Elmwood Crossing, a $110 million redevelopment plan. It'll be a space with many uses. There's going to be condos for sale, townhomes for sale. There's going to be apartments for rent. There's going to be affordable apartments, some market rate apartments. We're going to have a grocery store anchor. We're going to have restaurants. We're going to have retail, public art. We're going to have tons of green space. Thursday night, the public got a chance to see their renderings for the project. The developers are hoping for feedback. So we're looking to have conversations, understand uh, what people think. The developers asked people to pick up a common card and share their thoughts with them. Some people we talked to say they'd like to see some changes in the outward appearance of the buildings. I think the design is a little bit vanilla. I think you're taking a very vibrant neighborhood and everything's kind of gray and vanilla. It's like it's landed from the moon. It has no historical reference to the buildings in the area. The project will be completed in phases. The first as soon as 2019, but the entire project is not expected to be complete until 2021. This is going to absolutely change the dynamic in that corridor. We're calling it Elmwood Crossing because it's, have, it's a great location sort of in between Allentown and Elmwood Village. But they did do some nice things in terms of adding some green space, which is good, I think. And now developers say they will be taking comments from tonight's open house and making adjustments to the plan. I did get some time to talk some, to some people at the meeting tonight who say they're just happy to hear that a large investment is being made in Buffalo. Live in Elmwood Village, Leanne Stuck, Channel 2 News.